guys and welcome to my channel. Um, I have picked up a piece off of, um, I think it was Facebook Marketplace. It's a buffet or a sideboard and um, it is a super, super duper heavy piece and I will be refinishing it. Um, I do believe it's completely solid wood. It does need some new knobs. So um, I'm going to show it to you what it looks like before I start working on it. So here it is. Like I said, I'm not too crazy about these knobs, but um, I think it has some pretty neat detail that I can accent with some dark wax and maybe a different paint. Uh, it has it on the bottom there as well. And then um, the drawers are fairly good. I actually put coffee grinds in it because it did smell a little musty so I wanted to get rid of as you can see like these knobs gotta go so um, overall it's in a decent shape there are some necks but I think that that's that'll just add to the character okay so first things first I'm going to vacuum it up to dust all the little crevices and then I'm gonna clean it with some um, mineral spirits just to make sure there's nothing stuck on it or things like that so come along going to use the paint thinner or it's um, like a mineral spirit I guess that's what they told me that it is So the first paint that I will be using is the Paris Grey by Annie Sloan, which is my go-to chalk paint. And I'm going to do a light coat of it. And the brush is just from the dollar store. dry I'm gonna work on the drawers and then I'm gonna let it dry overnight you don't have to but I will before I apply a different coat of paint
So I have applied the black wax and with the wax brush, which is an Annie Sloan brush, and um, I had taken it off with these lint-free heavy-duty cloths that I had gotten at the Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to let this sit and dry. So here it is all finished up with black wax. So not dark wax, but black wax, which I really love the way it makes it look. So this is what the paint looks without it. And this is what it looks with it. Pretty pleased. And now I'm going to do a whitewash on the bottom and see how I like that. I'm not sure that I'm going to like it, but gotta try it right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put half a cup of water to one tablespoon of white old white so I'm gonna try it out on these drawers first and here is my paint mixture water and some paint and I'm just gonna try and see how I like the look or if I actually see anything I think it's gonna need a little bit more paint. I don't know if it's actually doing anything. I'm gonna add a little bit more. these these and these accents what I want to do is I want to bring them out a little bit more so the way I'm gonna try and do it and see how I like it is I'm gonna apply a little bit of clear wax over it and what it does it allows me to apply the dark wax and have the flexibility for it uh, to remove or add as much as I want. I'm going to come back with dark wax. So this is dark wax, not black wax. It's dark wax. And I'm going to try and get into all the little crevices and then I'm going to take my rag and wipe it off you have applied a little bit too much and you can't seem to take it off you can uh, 
put some more clear wax and it will act as an eraser. Okay, so I'm gonna continue and do that for all of it. So I don't know if you can see. The lighting isn't greatest, but it's the most light I have in this room. So as you can see, it kind of just accented out the little grooves. I don't want it too much, just enough to stand out a little bit. So I will be applying wax now, just clear wax. to uh, just take a little bit off but I'm not gonna buff it I'm gonna buff it out uh, once it had some time to cure just making sure there's no big blobs anywhere okay so I'm gonna let it cure for maybe a day and then I'm going to buff it out. So I just wanted to show you the finished product. I'm really, really happy the way it turned out. So here's the top. And then here's the little accent on the top. And then I had ordered these knobs online on Amazon, which I think turned out really nice. And then let me show you the sides. This is like the best lighting in, in my house so and it's not the greatest for such a big piece so yeah super happy with the way it turned out thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you did and until next time have a wonderful day